Breaking news, my country people, it don't happen no. Simon Ipa gives dates. His men will destroy all oil companies and their pipelines located in the east. Guys, there is fire on the mountain. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, the self-acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, again, has announced through his official Twitter handle that his men will be all out to destroy all oil pipeline located in the east just because they want to starve the Nigerian army, which he tagged as terrorists. Simon Ipa, who made this notice through his Twitter handle, has been making series of tweets series of threats to the nigerian government for a very long time and has also been making life unbearable for people in the east especially during the monday sit at home order according to simon ipa the biafran forces has decided that from this month all oil pipeline will start going on fire and their sole target is to starve the nigerian islamic terrorist state the resources to purchase more arms and sponsor high level of terrorism. The Biafran government's fight against terrorism is being taken to the next level. And according to Simon Ipa, all oil companies working in the Biafra land must get clearance from Biafra government. At this point, you cannot ignore the Biafran government because the land belongs to Biafra. And you cannot continue to fund Nigeria and make them fund terrorism using the Biafra's own natural resources. Now, at this point, this heavy threat being made by Simon Ipa has caused the oil companies located in the East serious concerns. And they have called on the federal government to brief up the oil pipelines with heavy security forces that will help fight these criminals. Now, we all know that Simon Ipa, who does not go back in his words, will surely strike. And all is needed for the government is to give good security. The level at which criminals is making life unbearable for members of the public is too much. And residents of the East have called on the federal government I've called on the federal government to make everything possible in fighting criminals. Well, my country people, a lot is going on. Simon Ipa recently made a shocking revelation where he revealed to Nigerians that every oil company operating in Biafra land must first get clearance from the Biafra government. At this point, Simon Ipa has given this order and guys we don't know how the outcome would be like now my country people this is very very serious i know some people might want to overlook this but then we all know that simon Ipa, who is based in finland is fond of giving series of orders and most of these orders are being observed in nigeria most especially in the southeast region of this country. Now, Simon Ipa, the Biafra agitator, has asked all oil companies operating in the southeast geopolitical zone to get clearance from the Biafra government following his interest in the natural resources in the region. The self proclaimed disciple of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano, claimed the land where the Nigerian government drills oil in the southeast belongs to biafra and before any company you know starts operation they must first get clearance now guys we don't know the outcome of this he has also vowed to start blowing up nigerian pipeline if they fail to adhere to his instructions if they fail to you know uh, go ahead with what he has said his sole target is to starve the nigeria's army according to him the, the nigerian's army are islamic terrorists and they are using the resources of the biafra land to purchase more arms and sponsor terrorism
So this Biafra government fight against terrorism, according to Simon Ipa, has been taken to the next level. And every OU company operating in Biafra land must first get clearance from the Biafra government. Now my country people, Simon Ipa, has been writing and given series of tweets where he made a shocking revelation that the Nigerian army killed about 464 people in the southeast in 2023. He made this shocking revelation where he said over 20,000 Biafran innocent youth and elderly people in 2023 have been reported, you know, missing. And most especially in the southeast region, the Nigerian army has killed over 464 persons. Guys, this is really, really serious. So my country people, According to Simon Ipa, all hands are pointing at the Nigerian army for these disappearances and the killings of persons in the Southeast region. Now, Nigerians has you know, reacted to this. Simon Ipa, a man who is known to go to follow his words, we are watching. Okay, the next person said, Simon Ipa has come again. The Nigerian government should locate this man fast before things goes out of hand. What can we say? Please, Biafra is fighting for our rights. We don't know how to keep quiet. The government is waiting for him. If he thinks he's stupid, the federal government are waiting for him. He's not thinking about his people in Nigeria. Well, he should go ahead. This man is somewhere enjoying himself and he is giving orders to people in Nigeria to go and destroy pipeline. Is he causing more pain and suffering in the southeast region? Hmm, Simon Ipa. Now guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. I don't understand where Simon Ipa is really going to with these orders of his. Oh, I don't know where he's going to and I don't know his sole agenda. Of this but at this point you know we just have to tread carefully we don't know the next step that would be taken by Simon Ipa note that Simon Ipa has been releasing series of orders most of those orders include the seat at home which in some parts of the southeast region are still being observed till date even after Mazinam Dikano had written a letter ordering all members of the IPO of the Biafra to drop that seat at home orders. So my country people, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.